Welcome to Neurology News Network. I'm Jenna Pasco. Let's get into the news from this week. The FDA has released a statement announcing that data from early testing of Zolgensma was manipulated. The agency said that the therapy, which is the first and only gene therapy approved for SMA in patients aged two years of age and younger with SMN1 mutations, should remain on the market while it assesses the situation. Avexis Incorporated, a subsidiary of Novartis, informed the agency of the data manipulation on June 28th, just over a month following the therapy's momentous approval. Of the entirety of the data submitted and reviewed by the agency, at this time, the manipulation concerns are confined to only a small portion of which was performed in animals and submitted in the BLA. Thus far, the manipulated information does not change the FDA's positive assessment of data from the human clinical trials. Alakest reported positive top-line data from its Phase II clinical trial studying GRF6019, which is under investigation from mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. Investigators reported that dosing with the agent was safe and well-tolerated, and those receiving GRF6019 experienced no decline in cognition, measured by the ADAS-COG-11 and the MMSE. A minor decline in function measured by the ADCS ADL23 and the CDR summa boxes was reported. These data, the group noted, demonstrate that subjects maintain cognitive and functional status throughout the six-month period. Neurology Live is proud to introduce the first episode of the Mind Moments podcast, your resource for expert insight on the diagnosis, treatment, and management of neurologic disorders. It will feature exclusive interviews with leaders in the field discussing the latest research and disease management strategies across the breadth of neurology, including epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, dementia, sleep disorders, and more. Episode 1, The State of CBD, Not All Cannabidiol is Created Equal, features an interview with Dr. Anup Patel, Section Chief of Pediatric Neurology at Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio, and Associate Professor of Clinical Pediatrics and Neurology at The Ohio State University College of Medicine. He discusses the current state of CBD in the U.S. and why increasing public access to the molecule via legalized marijuana is becoming a big problem for clinicians treating patients with serious neurologic disorders. For more direct access to expert insight, head to neurologylive.com. This has been Neurology News Network. Thanks for watching.